<laughs> Why are they fighting so good? <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of Oh, it's not bad. Oh, yeah. Probably nine. nine, ten, nine. Yeah, and good eater size right here. Not bad for the area, guys. Oh yeah, that's not a bad one. <laughs> What'd you get that one on? A pink lemonade. A pink lemonade. Nice. Alright guys, I'm just gonna show you what I'm using for using the get to tackle hair jigs again. The blueberry, the green limeade and the pink lemonade and then I'm also using the micro jigs that I tied right here these are one 124th ounce real tiny and that's what we're catching the crappies on if you guys are interested in some of these I'm gonna link them below so you guys can uh, grab some of these for yourselves so you and get to tackle and some uh, waterman adventure micro hair jigs so Another good size one too. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this is why I was talking about the little fish you saw. Oh, okay. <laughs> Was it? Oh wow. Oh, not, oh, bad, not sunny. bad sunny. <laughs> not bad sunny at all. Oh. Yeah, that's probably good. Eight, nine, yeah. y'all. Eight, nine. You get a free pass too, mister. Get it? There you go guys, got another one. Mm-hmm. Another good eater. Oh look at that. Another good eater right here. And we're nice and thick for that size. This one's probably maybe only seven and three quarters. Actually, let's let this one go. Oh yeah, Riley, good job. Nice, good job. What kind of what kind of fish is that? Crappie, yeah, good, good job. job. <laughs> this one's got a nice gash on them. Beautiful crappie though. Hey guys, this is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to bring out your kids. The action's uh, not too bad today. Not super fast, but it's not super slow either. And we're just using basically the hand tied jigs that I tied with these uh, rocket bombers. Or not rocket bombers, but rocket, rocket bombers. It's a little bit on the small side, so we're gonna let this one go. This one's probably, it's only about, about seven and a half or so. But yeah, still a beautiful fish. Basically, 
from the bobber down, it's probably about two and a half feet deep. And then we're just uh, casting as far as we can. From here to the other side, it's probably about 50, probably about 50 yards. And there's some overhanging trees over there. That's where most of the crappies are. And that's what I love about these rocket bombers. You can actually cast pretty far with these. But because I have a very light line on this uh, rod, this, this setup, I'm not really chunking it. I don't want to break my line. I got a pound power pro braided line with a three and a half pound tippet or leader. I'm just basically casting it almost to that side as far as I can and then just slowly give it a jig. And the uh, fish are bite. I just had a hit, but I didn't take it down. Oh, there it goes. Got him. Fish on. <laughs> this one came right underneath the branches over there. Oh, a good spot over there. This one actually feels nice. There goes a nice one. Not that much nicer, but it's at least about, probably about eight incher, eight incher. Perfect eating size right there. So guys, yeah, this is what I'm using. I'm using my micro jig, 124, one 124th ounce. If I not get two tackles using his uh, pink lemonade and the blue lemonade. That they work really nice. You don't have to keep on baiting them up. Can watch catch one and just cast your line out again and just keep on catching fish. Don't have to worry about live bait, hooking up live bait, getting hands dirty or wet. There he goes, got him. Yeah, for whatever reason, these crappies, they, they, they feel bigger than they are, y'all. <laughs> well, actually, this one's not too bad. Oh, look at this one. This is the biggest one yet. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Nice, huh? This one's definitely... Oh, yeah, this one's pushing 10. Nice. What do you think about this one? Pretty nice, huh? Super good to eat. <laughs> Super good to eat. I agree. <laughs> Let's move the bucket a little bit closer over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good job. Keep it up. Hey guys, this is what it what it's all about. Just bring you all your kids and it's big sunny, that's why it's neat. Oh, look at that. What's that? A bluegill. Can we eat it? <laughs> you can. Yeah. We're eating crappies today. I also wanna eat that. <laughs> you know, <you> <laughs> yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that one is that a crappie? No, it's a bluegill. It's a bluegill. Bluegill. Mm -hmm. okay. It's so small. You're right. You want to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's an even nicer one. No, yeah, it's like the other one, but look. Wow. How big that is. That's even bigger than the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got to hold this one now. Why? I'll take a picture of you. <laughs> well, hold on. It has spikes, okay? Yeah. How do we check this? Look at that. It's even, it's even bigger than the crappie. Wow. <laughs> Another good, eat, good eater size. Look at that. Right on the top of the lips. These are about the size I like to eat too, right here. The 8 to 8 to 10 inch range. Best eating size. Yuck, yum. 
Right, we're gonna we're gonna bake that one too. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Oh. Are you recording your stuff right now? Mm-hmm. Yep, recording you in here too. Yep, you wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Beautiful crappie. All right, Urban Adventures. So you guys have fun with us on this episode. As you can see, fish are still biting. We got about two man limit. That's all about all we need. And if you guys know this spot, this is a nice community spot for you to take, bring your kids. It's a very popular spot. You guys see the bridge over there? You guys don't know where we're at. But yeah, basically we're just using hand tied jigs that me that I tied and that uh, get two tackles tied. And uh, that's basically basically it. So, <clears throat> anyways, uh, hope you guys like this episode. We got get two tackles, get two tackles junior, and then uh, water bit adventures here. And I'll uh, catch you guys on the next video. As always, remember to follow your dreams, follow your passions, make it happen.